Hello everyone, Alistair Gold here. Yeah, that wasn't too shabby, was it? That's how you start a Tottenham Hotspur season. With a bit of swagger, a bit of style, strength in depth, ridiculous fitness. At the end of that match, Southampton were absolutely flagging while Tottenham looked like they could have kept on playing. Maybe apart from Harry Kane, who was having a bit of a cramp um, situation going on. But that's understandable because he's still kind of working away and working hard. But on a whole, terrific performance, really. After that little kind of setback in the first, what was it, 12, 12th minute, I think it was, it happened. Um, Spurs played really well, really well. Could have scored a lot more goals. Um, and we can say in this moment while I'm filming this that Tottenham are top of the league, uh, albeit in a very fledgling table, very early table. Some teams haven't played, of course. Um, and don't worry, I'm not taking it seriously. I'm not really saying that Spurs are top of the league. Well, they are, mathematically. Um, and interestingly, it was first, Spurs' first 3 p.m. Saturday kickoff in 973 days. I think it was the Burnley match uh, was the last one back in, was that 2019? Um, yeah, just mad that it's been that long. But it's just so exciting to watch Spurs. They're just, they're devastating. When they play in the real Conte way, Conte's way is all about the width. It's all about getting forward very quickly and with devastating fashion. And let's be honest, when you've got a front three of Son Hung Min, Harry Kane and Dejan Kulisevsky, you have got one of the best attacking tridents in Europe, let alone the Premier League. Um... I'm going to talk about Kudusevsky later because, oh my goodness, I'm absolutely a member of, or if not looking to push and be the president, I don't know if I can overthrow whoever the president is, but I want to start um, or take over the Dejan Kudusevsky Appreciation Society because he is going to be a superstar, a world-class superstar. Um, and I know I'm not alone in that feeling, um, but we'll have a proper chat about him in a little bit. Um, but yeah, when you've got that, those three players... You just, you know, they were f just creating chances at will. Um, so as I think it had 18 shots on goal yesterday. And, you know, if it wasn't for the Southampton goalkeeper, it, it could have been, you know, Gavin Bazoon. I think he's a new keeper. He came from City. Um, if it wasn't for a few saves from him, either side of the break, um, he made a couple just before the break as well. And even Sonny had a, a terrific run that he made. Um, he kind of shot the ball over. And yes, Harry Kane was in a better position. Harry Kane went mad at that. He was very annoyed. Um, but I would say with with I felt with Sonny yesterday I felt he didn't get many of the plaudits and I actually gave him a slightly higher score and some I think I gave him an eight in my player ratings and some people go oh, he didn't deserve that but you know what if you watch it back Sonny's movement was superb um, you know he obviously got an assist for Eric Dyer's terrific flicked header I think Dyer's first goal in three years um, he also was involved with the bizarre own goal <laughs> which we'll talk about later. <laughs> Um, and just everything. His movement was so good, it was creating spaces for others to go into. And he, yeah, he could have had a few goals himself. He had some good chances. Um, but I just feel that sometimes when we don't see uh, an end result with Sonny in terms of a goal, we maybe don't acknowledge just how good his movement was. It was superb. Harry Kane was similar in, in the respect of his hold-up play. was phenomenal at times yesterday. Uh, but obviously no assists or goals to show for it. But honestly... Kulisevsky will get the headlines, and rightly so, but that front three is just ridiculous. And, and what's the beautiful thing about it is when the Conte way works and the wing-backs are flying forward as well, it becomes a front five. You know, we remember back in the Elzy Ardili's days, of the, was it the famous five? I can't remember what it was called back then. But these are actually a five with defensive responsibilities as well, the wing-backs. The wing-backs have got to be so super fit. Because they are defenders, but they are also meant to be auxiliary strikers, really, as well. Not at, or wingers slash strikers, because one of them has to be down the flank putting the ball in. And as we saw beautifully with Ryan Sessignon, the other one has to be work as a striker at the back post. It's such a difficult role, but when it works, oh, you see afternoons like yesterday, uh, we're in the sunshine, you know. Spurs just got better and better and better, and the crowd were just loving it. It was such a treat. Honestly... I was talking to people kind of on the trains and the, the platform at Northumberland Park as we were coming back and just the satisfaction with that performance. It was just, it was superb. Perfect way to start uh, um, a season. And, you know, of course, some people will say Southampton were poor. I think you have to give the credit to Spurs. I think um, Spurs looked ready 
everything that Conte has been doing this preseason, deliberately picking teams with high intensity, you know, we'll talk about this later as well. It's not about the results. It was all about the fitness and it was about the level of teams that were playing, the intensity, the need to run um, and to get that sharpness into their body. And that is why you got a performance like that yesterday. That was a performance born of those friendlies and the work on the training pitches. Superb. Um, so here are Conte's words after his first answer in the presser. It was a really good start for us. It was really important to have this reaction. After 15, 20 minutes, we were 1-0 down, despite starting well with great personality and good possession to create many situations to score. But then to stay 1-0 down was really important to see the reaction of my team. The reaction was really good because we kept calm. We continued to play in the way that we know. Sorry, I almost lost my place there. To believe in what we tried before in this week before playing Southampton. So talking about the work on the training pitches. We won three important points, but the most important thing was the way we got three points. With really good football, with the ball, without the ball, with important pressure. Also, the way we decided to win the ball after we lost it, it was another important aspect. We're working to implement football knowledge over the last season. For sure, today we have seen this team has seven months of work on its back. I always say this. This season we are starting with seven months of work and for me it's very important because I can go another step in another situation to implement football knowledge and try to be stronger. This is it. And it was a team. Look, we're going to talk about the starting lineup and some people's gripes with it. Um, but I just think the key thing you saw yesterday was a team that is drilled now in the Conte way. And that what for, is for me that... I'd find that more exciting than new signings because for me, a Conte team is a winning team and you're only going to add to that with those new signings as well. Uh, the whole squad is just, oh, I'm honestly looking at the bench, looking at the signing 11, uh, compared to those final games of last season, it's just world away, absolutely world away. And how key, we, we've said this, I've said this numerous times in video, how, how videos, how key having a Conte pre-season was going to be as well. So you've got all of those months since November on the training pitches and in the match situations, but also the pre-season to absolutely drill it in and finally get that fitness he requires. Um, and yeah, there was only one team able to carry that match yesterday in those final minutes. Spurs were just breaking up the pitch as strongly as they were at the start. Um, Spurs are going to probably be one of, if not the fittest team in the Premier League this season. Um, and like I say, this is where that squad comes in so he can rotate them so they're not burnt out by uh, the amount of running they do. <clears throat> Ryan Sessegnon. 